Hi there. If you're like anyone, uh, you're probably concerned about your heart, you're probably concerned about cholesterol. In fact, statin drugs are the number one leading drug in the United States and across the world, and that's because so many people are concerned about their total cholesterol levels. But let me teach you a fact. Total cholesterol has very little to do with actual risk of heart attack. Let me repeat that. Total cholesterol has very little effect on total cholesterol. In fact, as far back as 2001, there was research done showing that 50% of heart attack victims had normal cholesterol. So if normal cholesterol existed in half of the patients or people that died because of heart attacks, how can cholesterol be the, 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 the deciding factor or the one component to worry about? In fact, more importantly, you need to worry about what they call your particle number or your particle size. And this is the type of testing we do in our office because we understand it's not about cholesterol. It's about particle number and particle size. And let me teach you. We do a test in our office called NMR. During that, we look at the total cholesterol, but most importantly, we look at particle sizes. And let me explain. Right here, you have a particle. Particles carry cholesterol. Particle, cholesterol, cholesterol. So in this situ situation, this example, you'll see that this particle has very low cholesterol. And, and this particle has very high cholesterol. So what we find a lot of times in our testing is that people with low cholesterol sometimes have lots of particles. Therefore, more risk of heart disease. And people with high cholesterol have very low particle numbers, meaning that their risk is actually not that great. Okay? And let me make this analogy for you. Cholesterol are little passengers in a particle, okay? Just similar to your vehicle. Cars, just like particles, carry cholesterol and people. So the people in the car are like the cholesterol, and the car itself is like a particle. Let me ask you this. If you drove, you were driving around, and you came upon a traffic jam, and the, the cars wasn't moving, and, the, and the, the flow of traffic wasn't moving, would it matter how many people were in the cars? And you'll probably say to yourself, well, no, it has no uh, indication on the way the traffic flows is not the amount of people. Similarly to cholesterol. It doesn't matter how much cholesterol is actually in a cell or a particle. It matters about how many particles are on the road, just like a traffic jam. It matters more about the number of cars on the road than the people actually in the vehicle. Hopefully that makes sense. So here we are. We have an artery. And this is where the particle size and number comes in place. As you can see, you have very large particles and very small particles. It's the very small particles that wreak the most havoc. And that's because it can get into the lumen of the side of the cell or the artery, and there it becomes oxidized. And when it becomes oxidized, it can cause plaquing. When it becomes plaquing, that plaque sometimes can break off. And if it shoots to the heart, we have a heart attack. If it shoots to the brain, we have a stroke. But again, it was the amount of these small particles that really is the risk factor. So instead of just getting your total cholesterol checked, have a much better test, an NMR test. Ask your healthcare provider to do that for you, or come to our office and we'll be happy to run it for you. But again, cholesterol is not the culprit. Particle number is. Hopefully that helps.